market participants are switching to their routine in the wake of the holiday. However, they have not regained the appetite for risk yet. Trading volume remains low amid the empty economic calendar. Although there are a few sources for optimism, Wall Street is firmly on its way to new highs. The benchmark stock indexes extended the Santa Claus rally yesterday and the stock market opened the final week of 2023 on an optimistic note. The three major stock indexes are on track to the quarterly one month and the one year growth. Interestingly, despite the lack of high impact news, the S&P 500 carried on with its inertial climb and reached the highest level since January 2022. The barometer of the US stock market has opened the week 20 points up. Uh, it climbed to 4,774 points, the upper border of the intraday Canada predicted by our analysts. Futures on the stock indexes grew by 0.08 and 0.2% in the New York pre market. The SP is expected to trade in the intraday Canada between 4,761 and 4,898 points. The index is a step away from the um, cherished high. String resistance could push the price down to 4,740. If the index passes the upper border, it could find enough energy to challenge 4,812. An eight-week rally in stocks accelerated two weeks ago after the Fed signaled the end of its rate hike cycle and opened the door to a potential rate cut in 2024. The market got to know soft inflation data on a Friday. If inflation continues to decline in January and February, there is a good chance the Federal Reserve could cut rates sooner than expected. Markets are for forecasting a 73% chance of the Fed cutting its funds rate by 25 basis points in March, according to the latest data from the CME Fed Watch tool. Amid the lack of news and important data, this optimism remains a key driver of the US stock market. On a Tuesday, interest rate sensitive large cap stocks and the chip stocks led the uptrend. All 11 major sectors of the S&P 500 index closed in the green. Energy stocks posted the biggest percentage points, helped by the rising oil prices as tensions in the Middle East fueled supply concerns. In the corporate sector, Intel shares jumped by 5.2% after the Israeli government agreed to provide a $3.2 billion grant for $25 billion plant, the chipmaker plans to build in southern Israel. Futures for Wall Street's major indexes rose on a Wednesday. Pre-market trading volumes were low as the most market participants were out at the end of the year, but the market perked up in the early American session. The macroeconomic calendar is empty today and everyone is awaiting for a weekly update on the U.S. unemployment claims. At the same time, the suspend mode does not prevent market leaders from systematically, albeit slowly, paving the way of new heights. The S&P 500 is poised for its biggest quarterly gain in three years and is within a 0.5% on its all-time closing high which in January 2022. A close above 4,796 would confirm the benchmark being in a bull market since bottomed out in October 2022. 81% of S&P stocks are within 20% of their 12 months highs, up from 46% seen in December 22. The stock market finds support from a fall in to use the yields. The 10-year US Treasury lost another 0.5%. At the same time, the energy sector, which on a Wednesday retreated from the highs, reached on a Tuesday, as some large shippers returned to the Red Sea, may put pressure on the indexes today. Myers shares plunged by nearly 5% and shares some of the other shipping companies also fell, giving up some of this month's gains fueled by expectations that a hold to the Red Sea traffic could raise some mountain time. The currency market is a trading at a brisk pace today, though the balance of trading forces remains the same and the US dollar has been extended its weakness across the boat. Its index opened the New York trade 0.13% down at about 101.34 points. 
The baseline intraday Canada is expected between 101 and 10 and 101 and 50. In any case, the instrument goes beyond the borders. The bearish target is seen at 100.80 points, and the bullish target is at 101 and 70 points. While the US dollar has got stuck under selling pressure, the euro aims to continue its rally, and the euro dollar pair grew 0.2% intraday to trade at 1.1064, the highest level since August. On the other hand, the greenback advanced against the yen by 0.14%, so the dollar yen pair is now trading at 142.59 following the publication of the minutes of the Bank of Japan's policy meeting. The documents revealed that the policymakers are uh, divided in a viewpoint um, about a change in the alternative monetary policy in uh, Japan. The Canadian dollar is a trading steadily at about 1.3199. The intraday Canada for the instrument is determined between 1.3181 and 1.3242. The price is searched by more than a 2% on Tuesday, but sharply reversed downward today. Both benchmark rates lost more than 1% over the yesterday's gains. And the loonie came under pressure but managed to regain its footing thanks to the weakness of its American rival. The crypto market is still challenging both the buyers and the sellers. Bitcoin is a test in support and resistance. Yesterday, uh, the Bitcoin tested $41,850 bottom. Today, it briefly touched $43,200. Meanwhile, there is a no clear advantage between the bulls and the bears, so the asset will continue to fluctuate within these borders, testing their strength. The dominance of the buyers will lead Bitcoin to 43400 and higher to $43,800. The sellers can test the level of 41560 And you have watched the review of the New York session. Feel free to share your opinion and ask any questions. Make sure you subscribe to InstaForex TV channel. Our analysts keep you updated on all trends and market developments. So, see you online tomorrow.